Hello everyone, welcome to Fun Game Monday. Oh, this is Dumb Game Monday. Fun Game Monday is over. We're playing dumb games again. Uh, I'm excited to play another dumb game. We had, um, let's just say a failure. We had a failure last week. We had a game that was less successful at turning out to be the type of game that we could learn to love. Uh, just wasn't the type, I suppose. And so, we're going to try a new game. But before we move on, before we move on to our new dumb game, we promised, I promised last week, that a new component of Dumb Game Monday, uh, there, there would be several. Uh, one, expectations at the beginning of the stream. Uh, two, closing thoughts and highlights and lowlights. Best part, worst part at the end of the stream. Uh, and most significantly, perhaps, fan art. Uh, and along with fan art, I, I think that's part of learning to love a game, right? Making fan art for any dumb game that we're playing, I think is fun. It, it's a cool idea because no one else is making fan art for that game today. So, um, again, the game we picked last week, I didn't turn out to love it, but I made a promise. And so I have to show you my, my fan art. I said, I can't ask you to do fan art if I'm not prepared to do it myself. Uh, Tim Jin Zero, two months in a row. Thank you, Tim Jin. Okay, <clears throat> so, Here's my fan art for Prism, Chapter 1, The Dark Unicorn. Um, I call this piece Hold Square for More Powerful Spells. Uh, I think it communicates a lot of how I felt about the game. Um, just rage. I, I felt rage between the two protagonists, and I tried to communicate that through this piece. Hopefully going forward, like it won't be hate art. It'll be actual fan art going forward. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's my fan art. However, we do have fan art uh, from the community as well. We had six people submit fan art to me. Um, easiest way to do it is through Twitter at Kyle Bossman. Um, the only way to do it, if you don't, if you try to send it to me some other way, I probably won't see it. Um, let me do that and then um, boop boop boop. Okay, and then so here I'm gonna sh and then I ask one other thing is that you include your name on the image because it's all I do is take them from Twitter and drag them into a folder and it's not easy to keep track of which came from whom so uh, please include your own name on the image I think everybody did that who submitted uh, Captain Caveman nine months in a row Mumble Mumbleton 13 months in a row it's actually 12 months golden a baby <laughs> yeah we're almost a year old feels good I'm gonna lower that a little bit you feel like you're in a weird spot I'm gonna almost lower it a little bit a little bit lowered okay all right, so here, let's look at our first piece of fan art. Oh, see, this is very good. Um, this is just an initial. I think I see TB there, but uh, I'm implemented into this one. I'm the one with the coffee, um, and we are riding poor Prism, who doesn't seem to be happy having us ride her. Um, it's good. It's, it's, it's interesting. I think, I think that's the only one that really incorporated me into it. Okay, here we go. Number two comes from CJCW. I'm sore from riding was something that um, the old gnome, the old troll, sorry, said very frequently. Uh, pretty prism. I see a disco ball, which I assume uh, uh, it is a play on prism. <laughs> Next up. Okay, this comes from uh, Dogs and Shoes. Uh, this one, uh, I guess you could say, does incorporate me, but not as myself. Here I am playing the troll. <laughs> Cue the karma. Um, ooh, I see. I'm a. I sorry. I'm sorry. You got covered by this fan art. There you go. Um, smelly kimchi. We got you. Two months. But cue the karma. I missed you. You got covered by fan art. Um, six months. Thank you. Uh, okay, so this one does incorporate me uh, as, as the troll on top of a unicorn. Thank you, at Dogs and Shoes. Uh, see, this one's super good. This one, I think, makes it look cooler than the game that we played. This comes from at Kyle underscore Rudes. Um, that looks like a cool video game to me. Um, which, I, I mean, if you were a fan of what we saw last week, please, you know, that's... um. Do what you gotta do. Don't let me judge how you feel about a game. If you don't like a game that we like, try to communicate that through your fan art. Okay. 
Next up, we have Sonic Prism from at Steven underscore Purifoy, of course. Um, I'm sore from riding the old nag. See, I don't understand really why Sonic is here, but I don't mind it one bit. <laughs> um... I think it's probably pretty important to incorporate those two lines. I'm, I'm sore from riding and calling Prism and Old Nag. Both of them just awful, awful. Great art, though. And then, uh, finally, our last piece from Shyla at Scoopa. We're in big trouble. Do something. And then Prism, very resigned, says, It's faster to just respawn. <laughs> Uh, I like that one. That one really communicates a lot of the game to me. <laughs> it is. Uh, they have to stand in. They have to stand in the lava. It's faster to just respawn. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's really good. So that was, in my opinion, a huge success. Thank you to everyone who sent in fan art. Uh, please send in fan art of this week's game as well. I will do fan art. I'll continue to hold up my half the couch. Um, and you might be asking, what are we playing this week? What's our new dumb game? What did the patrons vote on? The game we are playing this week is called Tale of the Sun. Look, you can kind of, you can see the PS3 menu. Um, Tale of the Sun. Now, here's how I got this game. I'll be honest with you. I was at Game Dude, um, where a lot of good stories start. And I was actually looking for a game called Tai Fu which is spelled T-A-I-F-U. And the way Game Dude works is that you can't really browse the games. You can't just like pick them up and look at them with your hands. You kind of have to, uh, you're behind a counter for everything. And you say, oh, can I, um, do you have Tai Fu? And what happened was um, the guy was like, how do you spell that? And I said, T-A-I-F-U. And he said, well, we have this. And I took this, I took Tale of the Sun and I picked it up and I said, okay, I'll buy this. <laughs> it's, it's not Typhoo, uh, but uh, I don't know. I just, what I saw was the back. And I know you didn't get this privilege, but I saw a caveman wandering around in huge environments. And I said, this might be pretty cool. Um, by the way, Liquid Sephiroth, uh, love that name. Five months in a row. Thank you for the resub. So uh, this one by a large margin uh, on the patron vote People were way into it. Uh, whether you know what that is, I hope not. I hope everybody was going for the random pick there. Um, we're in. We're diving into Tale of the Sun. This is the first ever PS1 era uh, dumb game that we've ever dropped into, which makes me a little nervous, right? The further you go along, the more tolerable games have become. Um, PS1 games have the possibility uh, to perhaps be very bad, right? Uh, more than PS2 games have, more than PS3 games have, more than PS4 games have. So we, it, it's, it's dangerous. It's risky to play a PS1 game or an N64 game, uh, but we're taking that risk. We're diving in to Tale of the Sun. Um, now, one thing that was important to me to do coming in is expectations, what I expect from Tale of the Sun. Oop, sorry. I'm going to have to turn that down on my end. Meep meep. Remote? Meep meep. There it is. I have this cool thing for my remote where if you say meep meep, it lights up. And so it makes it easier to find. Okay, so actually let me pause it right here so we can do expectations. So, uh, yeah, this box art was appealing to me, right? I asked for a completely different game <laughs> and this was handed to me and I assume the box art was appealing to you, too, if you voted for this on Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash easyallies. Um, let me tell you some things. Let me tell you what the, what the back of the box says. Um, Enter a free-spirited world where instincts and survival rule. Hunt, gather, and kill in a prehistoric land where man is animal and the mammoth is king. Here, you begin your quest to catch the tail of the sun. I realize I'm covering that. Um... Bat Vikingen. Dumb resub Monday. Four months in a row. Thank you. Uh, hunt and explore in a vast wilderness of mountains, tundra, and deserts. Discover mystic ruins, hidden caves, and many other curious finds. I could, like, I was, I was sold at that point, you know? 
That's everything I love to do in a game. Experience real-time weather conditions. Uh, endure attacks from fierce saber-toothed tigers, eagles, and other wildlife. Just a little motorcycle. Uh, explore a unique tribe of over 100 members. This game seems so advanced, and I'd never heard of it before. Um, ooh, this is really interesting. This makes me nervous. Plan ahead across many generations to reach your goal. Hmm. I think this might be the kind of game where we have to die and our children uh, accomplish our goals for us. Okay. Okay. I'll be okay with that. Most of the time I don't like that, you know? Because, um, you know, I, I want to see my goals accomplished. That might be why I'm not into uh, Rogue Legacy, right? You want to you want to accomplish your goals. You don't want to make your children accomplish your goals. But whatever. I mean, that's how you know. If you're a caveman, you don't get to accomplish much in your life. Basically, you are just laying groundwork for future. Like, there's not much you can do in your lifespan. So I guess yeah, we're about to learn a lesson. Message, um, a lessage. Teach me a message. Okay, sorry. Uh, those are my expectations, I guess. I'm expecting... Um, I'm expecting there to be loading screens between environments. I don't think that a PS1 can actually represent large environments um, that I'm imagining right now. And so I think that there won't be a lot of tutorials. I think we're going to have a really tough time in these next uh, two hours. A uh, little less than that. Um figuring out what to do and that'll be exciting this will be scary i'm gonna die a bunch is what i'm expecting um i'll get frustrated for sure and i think at the end of the stream something rewarding will happen we will get a new weapon we'll get a spear and we'll kill an animal uh that we didn't think we could beat at the beginning of the stream and so that's those are my expectations that's, that's my goal that's what i want to do here we go uh, Tale of the Sun. Oh! You know, I never like seeing those. I never like seeing, like, the, the demos. It looks good, though, doesn't it? Holy cow. Okay. Always check your options. Oh, this is nice. Um, attack, eat, throw. Jump is X. It's good. That's Zelda, so that'll be easy. Uh, triangle is take, eat, throw. Yeah, perfect. Uh, square for run. Okay. Game level, it's automatically set to easy. I'm gonna keep it that way. Hey, if you're on auto easy, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep you on easy. Yeah. Start game. Here we go. Adam and Eve. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Holy cow. I think I'm going to keep it Adam and Eve. Because I don't know what else I would... I don't know what they're expecting me to do. I'll keep it Adam and Eve. But I love this art. I would love to see more art like this in video games. This is so cool looking. Okay, here we go. Uh, Brushfire, just subscribe. Thank you, Brushfire. Stereo, baby. Holy cow, this loading screen. Does it look okay there too? Yeah. It looks like... Looks like I cropped well. Hey man, you crop well. This loading screen. Is something happening? Okay, so what happened there is I pressed X. 
I think that was pick your character. I think um, I think I could have hit left and right. Instead, I pressed X, and there was no. Are you Are you sure? Ooh. Oh, this is a slow man. Okay. All right. So, R1 and L1 is how I look around. There is no right analog stick functionality, um, nor left analog stick. It looks like we're gonna gather some materials. Uh, circle, right? No, triangle. Yes. Now eat. Eat. Yes! Yeah, baby. Okay. So that leaf looked like it strengthened his arms, yeah? Okay, let's... Do we have a menu? Info. Body. Here we go. I needed this. I needed this. Okay. What? Okay, so this is this is basically what we're prepared for, right? Um, it's funny, propagate just straight to the crotch. That makes sense. All right. Okay. So our swim is at max. What's bad? Our propagate is at minimum. We gotta boost our propagate. Basically, we want we want his entire body to be red. Okay, we gotta boost your propagate, buddy. History. Oh, okay, of course, we have no history yet. We just started the game. Tower. Okay. All right, we'll get there. I think that's the tail of the sun. Do you see it? It's little. It's a little tail hanging off the sun. Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll build our little tower. About. Staff and no, item. I'd rather learn about item. I'm sorry. Sorry, staff. In appreciation of Tsuruya Yoshinobu's cooperation for providing the Japanese sugar cakes used in the game as food items, effects of the food items in the game are not representative of the actual sugar cakes. So maybe it's like it gives you info about the last item you picked up. Resume. Okay. Japanese sugar canes. Ooh, that was good. That was brain. Uh-huh. Go to my brain. Go to my brain. Look at all these moons. Eat up, baby. Oh. Okay. Okay. Everybody's got to sleep. Wake up. Okay. This is a strange video game. This is so weird. Oh, he's asleep again. So maybe we should let him sleep. I think I woke him up by pressing the circle button. I think we should let him sleep. Is there a way to skip the sleep? Okay, he's up again. Okay, and so R2 and L2 are like, look behind you. R1, L1 look in front, ooh, ooh. Oh, bird, okay. We have no things to attack with yet. We need to find an Eve. I hear you, Dark Lord. We'll find an Eve. I don't know what these six flames represent at the top of the screen. Uh, chat, would you would you be mad uh, if we read the instructions? I mean, we have the instruction book right here. Like, so far, I'm just eating. Oh no, birds. Oh, I can't fight you yet. Ooh. Okay, we're all right. So you know what? I think those flames are my health. I think if that bird hit me, I would have lost a flame. Ooh, a rock. You can throw rocks. Okay. 
All right, let's see if we can climb the tree. Uh, I can pick up the tree. Yeah, baby. I'm a strong caveman. All right, so let me see if I can eat the tree. No. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to try to throw a rock at a bird. There he is. Come on back, come on back, come on back. I have something for you. Come on back. Come on back. Here he comes. He's coming back. Come to me, bird. Come to me. Come to me. I see your shadow. Come on back. I'm going to hit you. Let's go. Swoop on down. I see you. Swoop on down. Come on. I see your shadow. Come on. Here's one. Mm. <gasps> Return. Uh, so here's what I did. I pressed triangle on the meat, which I've been doing to pick things up. Why would it say return? Oh, I'm scared now. I don't want to return. I just want to eat the meat. Yes. Now loading. Okay. All right, let's see if we've improved our stats. Uh, info. Body. Okay, our brain is pink now, which is super good. Um, our propagation's looking good. Our, our, our running is actually down. Our jump's amazing. Look at our jump. Cool. Okay, so you gotta keep you gotta keep stuff up, or else you'll lose it. Our propagation is looking better though. We gotta find an Eve. Oh yeah, look at that jump. That's a red jump right there. Gah! There we go. We needed that. We need that run. Oh, we're going downhill. Use R2 to look ahead. <laughs> this is insane, right? Oh, oh. He picked it up and fell asleep before he could eat it. All right, I can take a peek at the instruction book while he sleeps. Because I think we got to let this guy sleep. Oh, there he is. He's up. Yes, you're right. There is a run button. What was it? Square? There it is. Look at him go. He's hustling now. Book a 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 book Dude, nice. Thank you, chat. For oh, monkey. I'm going to throw a rock at you, dude. Hmm. Let me just try punching him. Boca, boca, boca. Okay. Yes. What's up, monkey? You're my meat now. So, I don't want to return, but I want to eat that meat. No. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, I think the return thing is just like, in case you got beaten up badly in a battle, you could return if you wanted to. We ate that monkey meat. Now we're stronger than ever. King of these lands. I'm gonna pick this tree up. I'm gonna throw that tree. King of these lands. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold here. Do you think that'll hurt me? This really is Breath of the Wild. Emergent weather. Uh, what exactly is the objective here? It's not clear to us yet. Um, we know we need to build a tower to get to the tail of the sun. But for now, you know, it's just an open air game. Eat up, buddy. Eat what you want. Alright, can I pick that size rock up yet? No. Not strong enough. 
I can pick up a tree, but not that rock. What have we here? A log? Ooh. Okay. Yeah, it's crazy. The game is not telling us what to do. But I like going up this hill. I think this will lead us somewhere. By the way, no loading screens. My expectation was lots of loading screens. The game's like, nah, dude. Oh, look at that boar. Oh, I want to eat that boar. Oh, I'm going to punch that boar. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Oh, no. <laughs> gotta sleep. Sometimes you gotta sleep. Okay. Alright, here we go. Test your instincts and survival skills as you hunt and gather food. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Discover mysterious artifacts. Please, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oop, we're awake. We're awake. Dang. Power tattoos, cool. So really the game's about exploring. Here, let me pause this for a second. Um, the character you choose from the village population will be in your control for the rest of his or her life. Your goal in Tale of the Sun is to increase the population and cultural level of your tribe, allowing you to build a tall tower out of mammoth tusks to reach the Tale of the Sun. However, your character, whatever your character does influences your entire tribe. For instance, if you build up your brain power by eating certain foods, the intelligence level of your whole tribe goes up, balancing or advancing your cultural level more quickly. Even though your character is the tribe's leader, he's still only human. He needs to eat and keep his energy up, and at night he needs to sleep. It's hard work exploring the entire planet. Your character will make many helpful and unusual discoveries, and may even find love during his journey. Unfortunately, building your Tusk Tower is a long and dangerous task, and it will take many generations of tribal leaders to accomplish it. Nurture your village and your skills. Your goal is within, within reach. Okay, so I don't think we're doing anything wrong. We're doing great so far. You just gotta explore. Really cool instruction book. Okay, so here's the thing about the meat. Uh, if you kill a mammoth, it not only produces meat, but the prized ivory tusks. Pick up a tusk and then the standard return dialog box appears. Select a yes and your new tusks will be returned to a very happy tribe. So if we kill an elephant or if we kill a mammoth, we're definitely gonna wanna click return. <gasps> Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. We got a map. This is an advanced game. Check this out. So uh, this is where we started. I love this. Breath of the Wild was inspired by this game. Um, we start here. Let's go wherever you want. We're right now. We're heading, I think, toward number seven. Stone hands. Cool. All right. We're going toward stone hands. Oh my God! I love this. I love this. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna. Uh, I still wanna kill this boar. He's not into it. You know what? Let's just let him live. He doesn't wanna fight. Oh. Okay, we're sleeping again. <laughs> He slides down the hill as he sleeps. I like how this sleeps because it gives me a coffee break. Sky Dog, six months in a row. This game is full of surprises. This is everything you hope for with Dumb Game Monday. This is everything you hope for. The developers, who are they? Who are you? Art 
Art Dink. But I feel like Art Dink... Oh, there we go. We're, we're in action again. Come on, bud. Is Art Dink the developer or the publisher? I'm glad we got through the snow, by the way. I'm scared of this guy dying. Climb the hill. You got this. Ooh. Okay. Hit detection. Ooh, what is this? New fruits? What is this? Nice, for my legs. I need those. Are you, are you just a stump? I could throw a stump. Hmm. Can't eat those. We're running low on food out here. Nice, nice, nice. That looks like something I'm going to throw, too. Nice. Never mind. Good hustle, dude. Good hustle. Okay, I can't eat those. Hustling up the mountain. We're looking for rare items, buddy. I love the look of this game. Look at this. Good God. No way. How did they pull that off? Can you see this? Oh my god, 1997. That is so sick. No loading time. Rare stones. Oh. Cave deer. I have to kill this cave deer. Oh. Okay, big whiff there. I'm gonna let the cave deer live. Oh, I can use that leaf. Nice. Oh no, not now, buddy. Not now. Okay, alright, sleep away. <laughs> Okay, so I can use with less sleep, for sure. Chad, I can't hear the music because um, it'll either be in a super delay or if I turn it up over here, it'll cause an echo. So unfortunately, I can't hear the music that you're hearing. I can faintly hear it. I have an impression of the music. This cave, where do you take me, cave? Is that a page? Yes. Oh, okay, we're going up to the left. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Okay, good for my brain. Good for my legs. We're lost in this cave. We are deep inside this cave. Oh my gosh, so right now I'm going left, 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 left. Maybe not a great strategy, but I'm getting peaches. I'm reading this cave like a book. And so if we hit a dead end, we can start taking rights. May have just hit our first dead end. This cave is too vast. You're too vast. <gasps> and we ended up outside? We ended up at the end of the world. Okay, all right, be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool. Don't die, don't die. Okay, you're all right, you're all right. Holy cow. This is insane. This is so crazy. 
I'm just looking for a mate. Okay, and there's the water. Okay, so I'm going to keep heading left. Because the map showed me there's something on the leftmost tip. And that is what my focus is right now. I feel like today this game would be procedurally generated. And I think that would remove a little bit of the magic to me. I kind of like that this is a design world. Oh, he's asleep. Coffee break. Oh, please don't fall off the edge in your sleep. Oh, please don't. Oh, please don't drown in your sleep. Oh, uh, oh, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, buddy. Wait, are you alive? You're alive. Okay. All right, all right. How about you just, like, sleep up here? Just sleep right here. There you go. <laughs> I mean, I guess... I guess he's awake now. There's another one of those deer. I got you this time. Oh! Oh, no, I don't. Again, he... Woke up. Mid-throw. Don't you keep sliding. Okay, we're all right. That's a fine spot to sleep. I think the deer just drowned. You all right, bud? Eh, I'm going to leave you to handle that on your own. That's the stone hand. Okay, now what? Now what? That's what we're that's what we came for is the stone hands. Now what? You're just gonna tease me with a stone hand I can't interact with? Now what? Where's my mate? All right, chat says to give it a high five. I'm going to try. Hmm. <laughs> I think I did. Ooh, look at those clouds. Hmm. Break the hand with a throwable object. That's a cool idea. I'll try that. I'll try that. I'll try that. Mm. Yeah, let's bring a tree over to it. Come on. There we go. We'll see if we can run with a tree. Here we go. Kyle, you have to kill the mammoths. Yeah, but I thought like this hand would like give me powers. That's a big whiff. Someone also suggested trying the other side of the hand. Like maybe there is something on the hand of this side. It doesn't even want me to get close. Hmm. Okay, that was the stone hand. Do we have a map? No, we don't. I already know we don't have a map. Okay, I'm going to try one more time with the tree. It's very hard to aim in this game. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, buddy. You can't do that, bud. Okay. All right. All right. Wake up. Okay. We only have four flames left. This guy's going to die. Okay. All right. Here we go. Pick up the tree. Okay. Chuck, 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 chuck. All right. Tree. We're going to give you a... All right. We're... All right. Hand. We're going to give you a tree. Here. Take it. Ooh, went through. Okay. Alright. 
At least we know where the stone hand is, right? If we ever have to come back to it. We're hustling now. We gotta find a mate. Oh. Buddy. Buddy. Don't you slide in the ocean. Oh, buddy, wake up. Oh, wake up. Oh. Eh. So you can force him out of sleep, I think. Yeah, I think I think we'll just we we'll, we will know later on in the game what to do with that hand. We will know. For now, I'm just going to keep exploring. Look how fast we can go. This rules. This is me holding down R2. Ooh, holding down R1. Sick. Chuck, 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 chuck. Dude, yes. I'm so glad you can go this fast. Ooh, oh, you alright, bud? Yeah, he's okay. Whoa. Okay, there's gotta be something cool at the peak of this mountain. We're going to the peak. Look how fast he goes. Okay, okay. There's something cool at the peak of this mountain. Pray. Pray. Oh, alright. We're going higher. Ooh. Oh, buddy. Buddy. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. So there's a bunch of those. Oh my goodness. Look at this video game. This is crazy. This game is advanced. Now it's raining. Dynamic weather. You're not food. Okay. So I think we got to the... Oh, no. I feel like we're at the peak of this mountain, you know? Doing great, bud. Oh, he fell asleep. Coffee time. All right, I see a lot of people have just joined the stream who are definitely wondering what, what this is. This is Tale of the Sun. This is a PlayStation 1 game that uh, was voted upon uh, by the patrons of patreon.com slash easy allies. Uh, this, is, this is a fun, dumb game. This is a game that I was not aware of before. Uh, I had no awareness of this. You know, it's a, a, a game lost to time. Nobody's making Tale of the Sun fan art right now, right? Um... Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And it turns out to be an exploration-heavy, no-loading-time, crazy, prehistoric adventure game. I think we can cut. We can call it a survival game. Normally, I don't like survival games. Um. Okay. There's a lot of sleeping in this game. Normally what I don't like about survival games is their randomness, the randomly generated stuff. Um, I feel like we have a clear objective in this game, and that leads me to want to explore more. Which I realize is the opposite, and what people like about randomly generated games is that you truly are exploring. You're not walking through someone else's creation, but through a truly randomized creation. You truly are exploring. Nobody knows what's ahead. Um, okay, bud. Bud, where are we going, dude? You cannot spin the camera around. The, the camera is locked. You can kind of tease it a little bit with your, your L's and R's. But for the most part, we are always going to look upon the island at this angle. I do feel like there was probably something, um, Kyle, I hear you can swim in the game. Cool. Don't look ahead, by the way. No Googling. That's against the rules. But one of the rules of Dumb Game Monday is no Googling. Strictly prohibited.
Um, I feel like we may have, you know, they kind of like plant things close to where you start. I feel like they may have, I may have missed something essentially. Something essential. Dude, this is so cool. Eat up, buddy. I hear something. It's just a stump. Is it, did the music just get intense for no reason? I think it did. There's a lot of exploring and finding nothing, huh? We found the stone hand. Couldn't interact with it. The game says we're gonna find lots of secrets. Well, that cave was pretty cool. Dang, there were so many routes to that cave too. I wonder if they want us to like draw a map of the cave, figure our way out. On the body screen, it had swimming. Oh, okay, good to know. Good to know. Let's check it out. Info. Body. Let's see how her body's doing. That's a good looking body. His swim is our worst stat. Mm hmm. Propagate, we're losing it. And brain is thick, dude. Our brain is looking good. Nice. Kurt Cat. 12 months in a row. Congratulations on your A. Chappie is still good. Two years later, bring on Chappie 2. Bring on Chappie 2. Hey, Chappie. We're not dead. Oh, it's good to know you're not dead, Mummy. I'm not dead either, though. You coming to church on Sunday? <laughs> All right, those are my advanced Chappie impressions. So I think now my goal is just to head east. Just heading east. Did we not sleep last night? I feel like we just got through a whole night with- No, no, I took a sip of coffee. Um, going home is actually really easy. I think I saw a new rock that I've not seen before. Oh yeah, baby, look at this thing. These are huts? Hello? 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 Oh, we're down to three flames. Hello? Oh. Well, that was weird. Propagate. Hello? Would anyone like to propagate? <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, the stick thing is like candy, like sugar candy, I guess. It seems like the only thing we can feed him is sugar candy and the occasional uh, chimp meat. I'm very disappointed about those huts. Wait, this is where we started the game, isn't it? I think we found our way back home. We went all the way west, and then in traveling east, we found our home again. Okay, so this is our village. We found our village. That's where we started, up on that platform. Keep going south? Okay, we can go south from here. <laughs> Gotta wake up first.
I'll never stop eating. I think eventually maybe we'll learn which what each item does. I'm like, oh, there's one of those X's. That's going to give him brain power. Rain, dude. South leads to your tattoos. Stop it, chat. You shouldn't know those things. That's it's against the whole point. <laughs> it's against the entire point of what we're trying to do here. We're trying to learn to love this game through the game's own exploration. Oh, fell asleep. Kyle, did you watch the series premiere of the new Samurai Jack? No, I haven't. I gotta, gotta get on that. Kyle, have you ever considered bringing Huber in for Dumb Game Monday? Um, I haven't. That would be fun. Dumb Game Monday with another person is very fun. Ooh, there we go. There's a tattoo for us. Yes! Yes! Now what? Cultural level up. That's a seed, baby. I love the... Oh. I just learned how to use a stick. Oh, and another one. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my goodness. They're all over the place. Give me more tats. Oh, maybe you can only have so many tattoos at once? I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to every single one. Yeah, I think you can only have two one tattoo at once. Is it always his right hand, right arm? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we choose one of these powers, and this actually was in the instruction book. Let me let me resort to the instruction book for a second. Let me refer to the instruction book for a second. There, I did see a thing on tattoos. Okay, here we go. South of your village lies mysterious monuments. Each of these stones bears a symbol, and if you approach them, a mystic power will flow through your body, and a magic symbol appears on your character's right arm. These power tattoos enhance your character's abilities as follows. Leap. Increases jump height. Swiftness. Increases speed. Swim. Increases your ability to travel across water. Inner eye. Increases intelligence. And fertility. Increases rate of population growth. Helpful for providing additional tribe members in case their leader falls and for raising cultural level. I think you all know exactly what we're about to boost. Fertility, baby. Okay. I do like that we have a stick now. What's up? I just learned how to use a stick. Doing great. Boosting those legs. Mm hmm. Ooh, that's a new one. Pine cone, baby. Can I eat the pine cone? Yeah. Helps my feet. Is this swimming? There's a tree under there. What in tarnation is this? Okay, we cannot go further south than that. I think we found the edge of the world. I'm on the edge. Okay, that's it. Ooh. Banana peel town. You can find Banana Peel Island. Collect six banana peels for me. Oh, is that a water cave? 
Am I crazy? This feels like a water cave. I'm crazy. That was just a weird geometry thing. Alright. It's not a water cave. Have you been to Banana Peel Island? Oh, time to sleep. Go left, left. You want me to go back? I'll go back. I'll go back. Chat really thinks that's a water cave. I'm going back. I'm going back for you, chat. Ooh, what is that? What is it? Oh, no. Go back up. Go back up. Go back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Oh, it's gone. No, it is. What is it? What are you? Oh, no. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. What? Oh. Ugh. Oh, I gotta know what that is. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. No running. No running. No running. No running. I gotta run a little bit. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, my goodness. Up a little bit. Up. No, buddy. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Here we go. Okay. Just little by little. Here we go. I'm gonna get that thing. Curse you. Curse you. I can't even lift it. Curse you. Curse you. Alright. At least it's daylight now, so we can find the entrance to the water cave a little better. Eating underwater is very funny. Now loading. Oh, I think we just died. I'm so sorry, chat. We were so close to getting into that water cave. We were so close. I'm going back to Banana Island. So we should pick... Ooh, we've got a lot of options now. Cool. Who made this game? Who made this? Who made this game? Her. It's her. Who made this? Who are you, Art Dink? Alright. So let's see if um, any of that stuff carried over. Let's see what her body is like. Girl, how's your body? Show me your body stats. Okay, so she's kind of all over the place. Her propagate is nice, though. Good. Oh, and you can even see the propagate boost in the bottom? Cool. Okay. Yep, yeah, she's still got the propagate tattoo. Good. Alright. Eat up. Good, 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 good. Banana peel? Not me. Great. Mm -hmm. So we should see any of the stone soon, right? The power. Oh! Oh, I have a stick now, you little chimp. What's up? Come over here. I got a stick now. Come over here. Come over here. I got a stick, buddy. What's up? Oh my goodness. Come here. Yes. Yes. No. Eat it. I'm not going to. Cool. This is a good game. I'm going to get a coffee real quick while she's asleep.
So my presumption now is that uh, basically propagate is just something that happens passively. Yeah, okay, wow, it's a it's a march over to the, these stones, the power stones. Hey, Chimpy. Come on, what's up? Yes. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Shoulder power. And I like the uh, Mario-esque uh, momentum you have from running. That's why I'm usually not picking up items immediately and like sliding past them. Is you know, if you stop running, there's that slide. Uh, Ken AR just subscribed. Thank you so much, Ken. All right, Banana Island should be close. Underwater Pinecone. I don't know. I think Banana Island was a little to the east. Yes, here's Banana Island. Oh, and there's the cave entrance right there. So it says chat. Um, Nari? Where's your cave entrance, Banana Island? Look at that thing. There's a tree stump under here. Here's the thing. She's got no flames. Oh, I see the cave. It is very um, apparent that it is right up there. It is now. It is not a part of Banana Island, as I presumed. It's just right here. <gasps> We're never gonna get in that cave. We're never getting in that cave. Hmm, Art Dink also made No One Can Stop Mr. Domino. Interesting. Oh, I like her. Um, I like this guy a lot, though. She had no swim. You need that swim? Maybe you need to use the Power Stone. You want me to boost the swim? Pick up the swim Power Stone? Alright. Can do. Oh, look at this guy. He's rolling in flames. How come you get so many flames, dude? This music. I can hear this track a little bit. All I hear is... Try. The more it gets more complicated. That's the song we sing. Oh, fell asleep. Alright. Gotta sleep. Okay, he's awake. I love the sleeps, the inbuilt coffee breaks. We're gonna get a little uh, swimming tattoo. Oh, hello there, little chimpy. I'm get whacked with my stick, dude. Mm hmm. Now I'm gonna eat your meat. No, 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 no. Great. Seven flames. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna learn how to swim because we're going into the aquatic cave.
the red flashing seems bad to me. You mean when I eat? I assume what I assume that eating meat is a boost to all stats of the body. That's my presumption. I would hate to think that murdering a chimp and then eating him would possibly be bad for you. I wouldn't want to hear it. Okay, there's our cave. There's our cave. Here we go. Aquatic cave. No loading. Chugga 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 chugga. Dude, stay alive. You're doing great. Stay jumping. Get your oxygen. Oh my god, these caves are so cool. Get that pine cone. <laughs> caves are a little <laughs> rough with the way the camera works. Is this the only deal with the cave? It's just a fruit cave? I'm a little bummed about this. At least we'll come out of the cave a strong caveman, but... Look at his eyes. Good lord, dude. We should start naming, naming the cavemen that we are. Um... This one, he shall be named Freeg. This is Freeg. Alright, Freeg, let's go. This was just a fruit cave. Ooh, oh. Yeah, I think that was. It was just a fruit cave. Nothing really happening. At least Freeg's a little powerhouse now. Look at him. <laughs> he just wants to go murder a chimp, you can tell. <laughs> okay, alright. Here we go. Oh, that's cool. So those are gravestones. Um... Nunku, just subscribe. Thank you, Nunku. Doing great, bud. Eating lots of food. I want to continue going east. Oh, Freak's got to sleep. <laughs> Freak Flintstone. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't like it. Now I kind of like. Now I'm mad that he's got uh, swimming powers, though. We went through that whole water cave and, like, it was just more fruits in there. Just a lame fruit cave. Ooh, I see a little chimpy to murder. Hey, chimpy. Yeah. Hey, meh. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Sounds like it's time for my neighbors to play guitar. Real, that's really good. That makes me so stoked. Plug it in, dude. Jack it up. Ooh, another chimpy. Nice. No. Eat it up. <laughs> oh, Freak is speedy. Now what is the deal with this thing? It's just a plant you can't do anything with, huh? They're no prize at all. Freak, do you want to eat these? What are these, dude? These look unusual, Freak. Careful, bud. Alright, I guess they're just sugar candies for your arms. Okay. Okay. And then a bunch of leaves. Where are we, Freak? These are good for your arms, too.
I think there are like there's two arm abilities, right? I think those weird uh, cosmic sugar candies were had a different attribute. And then, yeah, like these. I don't think his arms will grow, grow blue. Yeah, so they go yellow when I get the cosmic candies. Whereas the leaves made them go blue. So weird. Candies. Alright, Freak. Let's go, buddy. Hmm. A fish. What's up? Oh, it's an eel. Oh, oh. It's hurting me. Get him. Nice. No. I want to eat that meal, eel meat. There we go. Oh. These are new, right? No indication of my health. I guess aside from those flames. go over to that sea mountain. Yeah, you want to go to the sea mountain, everybody? We're going. Oh, don't sleep in the water, Freak. Okay, 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 okay. Phew. I will come up. You can, you can cancel sleep. Don't sleep in the bottom of the mountain, though. Ooh, nice swimming, dude. Okay, nice, buddy. Now you can sleep if you want to. Oh, just a tree. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Sleep up, Freak. Uh, cozy tea. Six months in a row. Kyle, is this the proof of concept for Horizon Zero Dawn? I think anybody who developed Horizon Zero Dawn never played this game. I think there is zero overlap of people who designed Horizon Zero Dawn and played Tale of the Sun. Um, Janilius, two months in a row. Thank you, Janilius. Look at these stumps. Something curious about these stumps. They're trying to tell us something. These are good for your brain, right? We are learning. I don't know. Okay. These are new. Look at that sugar candy. Good for your legs. We're down to six flames. Freak won't live forever. Man, we should have given given Freak propagation powers. Ooh, okay, so we got some new trees. We have not seen these trees before. And that's a buffalo. I thought we found a mammoth. <laughs> Look at its walking animation, that's not quite right. Alright, buffalo. No, I'm gonna whack you with my stick, bud. There's no escape. I want your meat. You wish, dude. Oh no. Oh, freak. <sighs> That's on me. I could tell Freak was taking hits. I could tell he was taking hits. And I just went head on. I didn't learn my lesson. Okay, so we're picking a woman next. By the way, our population is, ooh, look at this one. A black mage, yes. All right, I'm gonna give her intelligence powers. I want more than just the stick. I want to learn to use better weapons. Banana peel. 
So we're going south. By the way. Does she have seven? I think she's got seven flames. Yeah. Alright, so her name will be Blema after Black Mage. Blema attacks the chimps with a stick. Come on, Blema. Nice. So, someone suggested I take the meat and feed the tribe with it. Would that work? Blema. Uh, let me just get my brain power, and then I'll, I'll be more inclined to do stuff like that. Alright, so let me test this. Oh, there's a chimp. Get away from my power towers. Come on, chimp. Who do you think you are? Oh, no. Okay. Alright, we're awake. Mm, yeah, get away. Okay, so let me check to see which one is a brain power. Okay. It's the one that looks like an eye. It's called inner eye. Use your inner eye to see inside of your skull. All right, get that tat. Oh boy. All right, you know what? Let's just let her sleep. <laughs> the physics are impressive. Ooh, good idea. Um, Kyle, a lot of cavemen have died. Is there anything in your history? Let's see. Info. History. You know what's crazy? Oh, everything I've killed? Yeah, baby. Look at all those dead chimps. I can't tell what that one is. I don't think I killed three deer. Maybe it's counting those deer that died in the water. All right. Now that I know that um, dead chimps tower, we have nothing. We have we have not built. We have zero uh, mammoth tusks, so we have nothing on the tower. Ooh, but I think those are all the dead people. They got little ding dongs. All right. Hey, game, it's your choice. Um, a Rovet Lee just subscribed. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. All right. Um. So we have our brain power. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, that's what we want. Okay. What just happened? Cultural level two, yes. Or three? Okay, yeah, so I guess we start at level one, obviously. So that's why we want brain power. I want our cultural level just go up, up, up. I'm never leaving this. Cultural level up, and I don't know what advantage that has. Last time our cultural level went up, I got the stick. No effect noticeable yet. I'm gonna head north. Okay, chimpy. And I'm going to take this chimp meat back to base. We'll do that. Ooh, nice hit. Nice hit, chimpy. Nice. Blema. Alright, so hit triangle, return, yes. Now loading. Okay, so she did eat it. You saw her body flash. Makes my body flash. Okay, and then, um... I don't know, do we have more huts than we used to have? Are we propagating well? I did not take a hut count earlier. I honestly don't know if we're, if we're increasing our huts. We trust you, Blema.
that's just how you warp back. Okay. So yeah, I don't think you have to worry about feeding your tribe or anything. Oh, come over. Come over. I'll kill you. All right. I think whatever you eat goes to your tribe anyway. It's kind of shared. They learn from you. Come over here. Yes. Dead bird, baby. Return? No. Eat that. No. Oh, dead bird. Oh, missed. That's a whiff. Blame hat. Look at that. CD-ROM. I don't want that. For your legs. Ooh! That bird was hot on my tail. Return? No. Eat it up. I'm on. Ooh! You mad I killed your buddy? Did the other bird mean something to you? Oh, two hits. That was good. I was pressing the wrong button. That's on me. Ooh, good jump, Blama. Did you see that? Oh, it's gonna be time to sleep soon. I feel like traveling north is good. Is there a blizzard in the northeast? Dang. It is already hot here in SoCal. Like, not even like, oh, it's getting warm. It's just like, oh, it's hot. AC time. Stupid. I remember some March blizzards growing up for sure, though. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Blame us sleeping. Coffee break. What is that shadow? Oh, it's a bird. Just a bird. Don't worry. Blizzards are freaky and cool. I mean, it sucks because it's dangerous. Right. People die during blizzards. When people don't die, they're great. Because you just have feet of snow outside your house. You can jump off the roof of your house and into snow. And that's a really cool thing to be able to do. It's like floods ruin everything. Ooh, that's a new fruit. Just a straight up apple. I have, oh! Eat the apple! Don't th that's clearly an apple, eat it! <laughs> she eats all these stupid candies, but when she picks up an apple, she's like, ah, no. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Blama. You do what you do. Ooh, that's a new thing. What, is it, what do we have here? The withered tree. What do you think, Blamo? Alright. Not much we can do with the withered tree yet. We have yet to obtain the power to fix the tree. Kyle, it's a biblical reference that she refuses to bite the apple. Okay, so this is new terrain. Stone terrain. Cool. Frozen trees. How you doing, Blame? Are you okay? I definitely want to beat more chimps. Ooh, look at that candy. Not a candy. Oh, mammoth. It's gonna kill me. Blama. Run, 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 run. Okay, so the way to build our tower is to kill mammoths. I just don't think we're ready yet. Dark Souls, baby. What do you think about a tree, though, mammoth? What do you think about this, bud? Can you survive this? Yes, Blama, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. No, 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 no. You can live, you can live, you can live, you can live. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
This is how you survive. You use weapons. That's what makes you smarter. Yeah, come over here, Mammoth. What's up? You want this? Do you want the stone? Yeah, Mammoth. What's up, dude? Oh. Yeah, I think I ran into a, a Mammoth too soon. Hmm. Okay. Feels good to know. We know where to find a mammoth. You know, we just go north. Straight north. Ah, poor Blayma. I think she had a long life of that, or I should have run away from the mammoth. Alright, let's see who our new recruits are. I like this guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, um, this is our guy. Um, this guy's name is Hee Hee. The tribe has tasked Hee Hee with finding a cave. I kind of think I should go back to that one cave that I was already in and just find a different exit. I gotta find answers inside of that cave. So you have a spear. Hi. Join my community. Oh, hee hee, not now. Let him sleep it out. Let him sleep it out. I'm very curious about what happens here. Look at that guy's face. Oh my god. Don't go, though. Don't go, dude. Don't go. Don't go. Sleep it out. Alright, hee hee. Hi. Hi. Join my tribe. Join my tribe. Ooh, you want to take down that boar together? Join my tribe. Hi. I want your spear. Join my... Okay, I think I'm going to have to fight him. Okay, close him off. Fight him. Yes! He, he's the champion. He... <laughs> Um, no meat or anything. I don't even know why I killed that guy. Oh, he he's taking the hits. He's taking the hits, he he. Nice. Nice. No, you're gonna eat that meat. That's for you, bud. Okay, first murder. We've committed a sin. We have... Let me see if that goes in our history. Um, lots of chimps. Bunch of birds. That boar, no. That man I killed is not part of our history. Okay. Well, that was interesting. I thought we would at least, like, I would learn how to use a spear or something, you know? By the way, how do we save? Was save one of those things? Yeah, it's right right up top, Kyle. Don't worry about it, bud. Okay. Eat those ninja stars. Yum, 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 yum. For my legs. Mauled 
Charcoal. Just subscribed six months in a row. Thank you, Mauled Charcoal. Tough one to say. Mauled Charcoal. Mauled Charcoal. Mauled Charcoal. Mauled Charcoal. Mauled Charcoal. I love this area. So we've definitely been here before. We're learning to recognize the map too, which is nice. Mauled Charcoal. Ooh. He, he's on a roll. He wants to kill this thing. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. Again. Oh. Come back here. I feel my luck could change. Yes! Eat that meat! Mm-hmm! He <laughs> he is a champion. Whoa! The pearl tree! Yeah, ha, ha You found me! Nope, nothing. Alright. Okay. Nothing. Just a cool tree on the top of a mountain. No significance. Oh, gotta sleep. <sighs> Just sleep it out. Good for a coffee break. Kyle, someone was saying return was important for the story. Should I be returning more? Okay. When I Last time I did return, chat was just telling me that it was just a quick travel. That there was no significance to return. Unless uh, the instruction book said you must return when you kill a mammoth. And that brings the tusks back to the tribe. Ooh. The deer are out for hee hee. I'm gonna let those deer lit. Well, no, I wanna I wanna test Chat's theory. It's dark woods. Okay. Let's see if the story progresses. If I bring this deer meat back back to the tribe, he he will return a champion. Uh, bat Viking again. Um, I gave up on that deer. They're too fast. Okay, here we go. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. Guess who I am? Hee <laughs> hee. I'm hee <laughs> hee. Come over here. Guess who I am? Um, I'm gonna read a, a statement from Bloodworth, who has done a bunch of research. Never mind, I'm going in the cave. Forget those deer. It's cave time. So now I'll go completely right. Let's see where that takes us. Only rights. Okay, taking a left. Get that peachy. Okay, so here's where our first chance to take a right, I think. Oh, no. Huh. Okay, so we're taking our left. Maybe this cave is not as complicated as I thought it was. Ooh, get that peach. Oh, no, no. It's a different cookie. Okay, so now we're taking a right. Peach. Nice. Okay. I think this cave has one exit, is what we're learning, chat. Gotta eat these peaches. I don't know. That does make me feel a little better to know that you can't take rights in the cave. It makes me feel a lot better. There's only one way out of this cave. <laughs> Look at you he go. Dude, you're a maniac. Okay, so we know... Oh, alright, time to sleep. Got out of the cave. Time for a sip of coffee.
Kyle, do you think we will ever be a better basketball player than Jolly from the playground? No. Do you think there will ever be? Yeah. Someday. Was Prism better? No. This game is infinitely more fun than Prism. Oh, I think we're not sleeping anymore. Okay, we're up, we're up, we're up. Okay, so we know if we go west right here. Um, we will find the stone hand. Nothing I can do with a stone hand yet. Ooh, hello. A hippo? Now, hippos are very dangerous in real life. Hippos kill more humans than most other animals. Any other animal, perhaps? Check my facts, Chad. I think it's true. However, he he is a champion. And I want to bring some... Oh, he he fell asleep. Oh, he he... Oh, he he, wake up. Wake up. All right, I gotta wake up, he he. I can't wake him up. Oh, no, he he, no! Oh, good lord. Okay. Okay, we're all right, we're all right. Back to the mountain. Come on, he he. Don't you drown on me. Don't you drown on me, he he. Okay. Okay, okay. There you go. Okay. So, I want to fight that hippo. Come on. Come on up here. Let me fight you. This is actually good, I think. I might drown, though. Yes! Yes! Okay, and then bring, we bring this hippo meat back. And they'll be proud of us. <gasps> no! 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 Mm, no! <sighs> oh, he he. He he was a strong warrior. No. Oh. That's a sad story. That's a sad story. Okay, all right. Well, let's look at our prospects here. I kind of like Vampire Lady. Too cute. Look at that guy. <laughs> the enemy eyes. Okay, we're doing Vampire Lady. Um, Vampire Lady is named, um, what does a bat sound like? So yeah, her name is, um, Nini. Her name is Nini. This is Nini. Yeah, no flames on Nini, that sucks. Oh, look, another spear, man. Give me your spear, dude. I'm going to fight you if you don't give me your spear. Oh, all right. Yes. <laughs> Nini had a tough fight. She earned that. She earned it. Ooh, what is that creature? I think it's another caveman. Dude, I will kill you too. I will kill you. She's a vampire. Ruthless. Nini hunts the men at night. I don't think I've hit him once yet. There we go, there's a hit. Nice. I love they just explode. Death. Your own tribe being murdered? Do you think they're my tribe members? They are your tribe, chat confirms. Chat, are you sure? Because that one time we saw the guy who had like the red kabuki face, right? I actually don't know what it's called. The red face paint. 
the very best subscribe four months in a row um and he was not in our tribe they have spears and we don't i don't think that's our tribe Also, yeah, Nini's a vampire. She shows no allegiance. Okay. All right, chat has no evidence that they are members of our tribe. I'm not convinced. Get that banana peel. Work your shoulders. Go, go. Boof, do, boof, do. I'm gonna stop eating everything I see so we can maybe progress a little faster. We only got 15 minutes left in the stream and we have made, I think, zero progress in the game. <laughs> no, our civilization is up to level three. That's not bad, right? We've killed a lot of chimpies, too. What's up, chimpies? Yeah. You're pathetic. All right, so I'm taking this meat back. Return, yes. Chat says this is part of the story, is to return with your meat. I don't, I don't think so. I don't agree, but I'll do it. The objective of this game... Ooh! What's being communicated? <laughs> okay. Um, hobby box burns six months in a row. <laughs> okay, so our cultural level is up again. Still stuck with this lame stick, but I like it. It seems like progress, right? I'll keep bringing meat back to base. I'll do it every time now. No problem. I'm not. Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa. She is not wearing pants. Confirmed. here and why have I never noticed it before look at this what happens if we pick it up hmm 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 I wonder if I should have taken that stone somewhere should I take the Stonehenge stone to the stone hands? Oh, come on, bird. Please. Yeah, now you're gonna... Oh. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, I want to kill that bird. I'll chase you, bird. Maybe your cultural level... Maybe, chat. That's a good idea. Good theory. As to why we never noticed it before. Maybe it w simply wasn't there. I'm waiting for this bird to land. Come on, bird, bird. I want it. You are my enemy. You take some pot shots on me. I'm going to kill you. You got to land eventually. You got to land eventually, bird. There you are. Oh, I got you now. Come over here. Yes. Taking my bird meat. Back to base. 
Mm hmm. Okay. So now we got bird meat at back of the base. Really, chat? That's how we're meant to play the game? You kill a new animal and then just go back to base? Alright. Okay. Yeah, there's no way this wasn't there before, right? Huh. The fancy gemstone didn't return, which bums me out. Kill a mammoth. I mean, I could try. It'd be a good crunch, right? If I could kill a mammoth. Does this game have an end game? Yeah, it's to get to the tail of the sun. We're climbing. We're building a tower to get the tail of the sun. The sun's got a little tail. And we're plucking it off. We see the sun mocking us every day. Coffee break, great. <laughs> Just goes to show you, it's never safe to have a coffee break. So what are the flames then, right? Flames do not appear to represent health. Oh. She just took a bunch of hits, and she's still fine. By the way, I forgot what we named her. I already forgot our vampire's name. Kiki? Was it Kiki? What did bats? What did bats sound like? Oh, Nini. It was Nini. It was Nini. I got there eventually. So Nini has no flames and just took a bunch of hits from that bird, and she's fine. Oh, come on, bird! Wow. They really got their revenge. I gotta give the bird some credit. And now she's got flames! Nini earned her flames. Alright, time out. I'm looking up what the flames mean. Time out. In the upper right hand corner of the screen, a ring of flames serve as an indication of how long your character will live. These flames will go out one by one over time. When the last flame goes out, your character dies. Huh. It doesn't say anything about no flames appearing. So it is weird that we just suddenly got flames on Nini. Whoa, here's another interesting thing. The ending of your quest will depend on which portion of your body is most nourished at the time you reach the tail of the sun. So there's <laughs> different endings depending on whether you chose propagate or swim or brain. Interesting. Mammoths are big and don't like primates pulling off their body parts, so they'll be your biggest challenge. Don't consider going after one of these nasty beasts until you've built up your weaponry and hunting skills. Huh. Okay. It's pretty clear we are not meant to fight the mammoths yet. Okay. 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 I really want that propagate ending, obviously. Ooh, we got a little chimpy. Take me back to base, buddy. Mm hmm. All 
right, chat. I don't know. That's not very satisfying to me. I go back to base, she glows red for a second, and then I just assume that my little village is happy about the meat. I'm going northeast. Ooh, hey there. I see that you are armed with a simple club. You don't know about Nini, do you? Yes. That'll show them. Okay. This is this like a desert? Nah, it's just dirt, man. Alright. Ooh, okay. Okay. Is that a new hippo or is that like a bear? What are you? What are you? You're a bear. Alright, I'm taking bear meat back to base. No, that's a hippo. Yes. Yes. Yo, I'm gonna love this hippo meat. Funny, I thought it was a bear for a long time, then it turns around like, nope, I'm just a hippo. Okay. That's definitely a new hut, right? That's definitely a new hut. That's definitely a new hut. Oh, okay, gotta sleep. Nini, cover yourself, come on. This game is rated kids to adults. Nini's in good shape. Okay, so we'll end the stream when Nini dies. I will not end it before then. Going northeast again. It was cool to kill a hippo for sure. The villagers, I mean, they assigned Nini as their leader, but they're pretty freaked. Like, when she comes back with some hippo meat, they're like, Thank you, Nini, but, like, you should get going again soon, yeah? I'm, that was sick. I've been trying to redo that every single time. Basically, it's about hitting X before the game realize, but does, like, the slip animation. The hit, 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 hit. So if you can hit X before that, you do a cool river jump. I just want better weapons. I want to kill a mammoth with a cool weapon. Yep. Get that CD wrong. Great. She's my Nini. She's my Nini. She's my Nini. I'm gonna actually st stop killing every chimp I see. I don't believe that chimps are the way to progress. Hmm. Now this is interesting. What have we here, Nini? These look like campsites. What do you think, Nini? 
Investigate. Okay. Oh, okay. Time to sleep. That wore her out a little bit. She didn't know what to think of those. Nina needs some sleep. Okay, she's back at it. Good rest, Nini. Okay, this is around where we found that mammoth. He's more to the north. I'm going to try to continue northeast. I'm not ready to face a mammoth. Nini's life is too valuable. What do we do? R1. Yeah, cool. She's my Nini. We're on the moon right now. Look at this place. Okay. All right. Nini, you've been working hard. Take another nap. <laughs> Sleep it out. Okay. Here we go. the moon. This is interesting. Climb this mountain. Climb it. Whoa, this is a mountain. Here we go, Nini. Whoa, this is a climb. There better be something at the top of this mountain. Nothing. Brutal. This is a brutal game. You gotta have something on top of the mountain. You have nothing? Not even like a little peach for me up here? Huh. Okay. Nini is disappointed just hopping down the mountain. Just hopping down. She's mad. Okay. We have reached the edge of the island. Whoa. Perspective is a little effed there. <laughs> I thought it was a tidal wave that was about to crash into us. Into me. Um... But I think we're okay. Just a big wall of water. Look at Nini go, dude. Crash. Don't tell me. Reaper. Look at this, like a little leaf island right here. All right, it's weird. It's weird. Nothing else going on with that leaf. I'm like, you gotta give me something. You know when I'm exploring like this? Oh no, Nini, you're gonna drown. I just hope that, I want her to get a rest, you know what I mean? There we go. She's fine. She'll be fine. We lost a flame. She's down to six. Okay. Doing fine, Nini. I just want to find something. You know, when you find a cave, it's like, wow. And then you go through the cave, it's just like, nah, there's just nothing going on in this cave. What is this game about? How am I ever going to kill a mammoth? I should not be climbing at night because she could fall asleep at any moment. 
Okay, we're doing alright. Nice, Nini. find something at the top of this mountain. There's got to be something up here. There's got to be something up here, Nini. Find the truth. What is the truth of the mountain, Nini? Okay, so we, we were here before, right? Yeah, we're on the flat top of the mountain. I like this path. This mountain path is something, right? They're trying to tell us something? Honestly, I think the mountain is meant to be a boundary. Like a really tall edge of the map, basically, before the water appears. I think that's what this is. I think that is why we find nothing at the top of this mountain. Like, Nini's body probably sucks right now. How's your body, Nini? Oh, propagate is looking good. So is Run. Okay. Nini is not strong in the brain. Okay. Which is funny because we have the brain boost on her. Ooh, the map? We can check the map. <laughs> you see that mountain? There's nothing up there. Alright, so the map says Arctic. These frozen tundras are cold and barren. Mostly snow and rocks. Oh, so that's why there's no food up there. Um, the stone eyes and the stone nose are two things that we're likely to find up here. Okay. Okay. Come on, Nini. Hop on down. Wow, this is steep. Nice jump. Let's do it again. Nice, Nini. That's how you go down a mountain. Uh, Zen Davis, we actually had a weird discussion about Into the Wild on our last group stream. I do not like that movie. But, we all like Emil Hirsch. We all like Speed Racer. Oh, Mammoth. Oh, I want to kill you, Mammoth. I want to kill you. What do you think of this thing? Ooh, oh no, oh my god. No. We're alright, we're alright. I got a tree for you, mammoth. I got a tree for you. Where'd you go? Oh, it's gonna kill us. Where'd it go? Nini, use your hunting skills. Use your focus, Nini. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on, then. Oh, two hits. And Nini is down. <sighs> yeah, that's... We need to level up before we can kill one mammoth. We need to pull more time in the game. All right, everybody. That's it. That's all we're playing for Tale of the Sun for tonight. I said I would stop after Nini dies, and she has died. Oh, they're brutal. They're brutal, those mammoths. So, oh, I guess we gotta pick a new person, actually, so we can save. Okay, let's let's look at our prospects. I've always liked that guy. Ooh, look at Owlface. He's our next guy for sure, right? A lot of propagation happened during uh, Nini's rule. And look, she even had a little vampire baby. Okay, so uh, we will play as this guy next, though, Owlface. Uh, this guy's name is Gugongo. There are high expectations for Gugongo.
I wonder if this is a game you just put the time in. You know what I mean? I wonder if, like, we just, um... Keep playing and learning new caveman things until we are able to kill a mammoth. I wonder if it's just about putting time in. I don't know what the body parts do, the stone body parts. Hmm. can't stop playing this game. I gotta stop. Okay. Uh, save it. We gotta save. Save. Memory card one. Not present. Good to know. So we go to assign slots. We'll put fresh remembrances into slot one. Okay. Not present. Save possible. Good to know. Okay. Now saving. We've saved. All good. Okay, so. Do you remember I said that one of my expectations was that there would be lots of loading screens, that I didn't think the PS1 was capable of rendering a huge environment? I was so wrong. Um, I did expect more direction, where there's absolutely none. It's pretty cool, we just have our own little caveman island. Um, I expected more mystery, I guess. It's a bummer to find Stonehenge. And the instruction book even, like, mentions, like, you might find some cool things, like Stonehenge. Um, and it doesn't do anything. It, at least not yet. And so, uh, maybe we'll figure out, yeah, there it says, dinosaur tracks, monkey skeleton, diamond, body of an alien. There's a body of an alien, apparently. Ice mammoths. Deserted Village, Stonehenge, Underwater Temple, Penguins, and Cave Paintings. Those are things you can find. Oh, here we go, actually. I'm sorry, I should have read this a long time ago. Alright, so page 20, Primitive World. Okay. Um... As you begin to explore the Savage Land, you will quickly find that the countryside is vast. Since the world is round, it is even possible to travel entirely around it. Oh, cool. And end up where you started. The map of the world is marked with a few landmarks to give you a general idea of where you are and where you can go. There are many other interesting things to be found in this world, many of which do not serve a purpose but are fun to discover. So, <laughs> yeah, I think, I think there's absolute, absolutely no purpose to mo most of those things that we found. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, you can kind of see how it's like a little... It's Pangea. You can see kind of how the world was formed out of this island's shape. Pretty cool. So, yeah. That makes me feel a little better. Here we go. We weapons and tools. At first, your character is only bare hands with which to fight. But as you become a better hunter and the population of your tribe grows... The folks who stay behind in your village will be figuring out how to sharpen rocks and strapping them to branches to make them better weapons. Occasionally you will see a cultural level up screen, indicating that your tribe has come up with a new weapon. This object will appear in the center of this screen, and your character will carry it and use it immediately. Press the circle button to attack with your current weapon. Even if your current tribesman dies, following generations will still have the benefit of your tribe's accomplishments. So that's weird, right? Because I swear we were using the same weapon over and over and over, but I guess every time we leveled up, it was getting slightly better. Okay. All right, I'll buy it. I'll buy it, I'll buy it, I'll buy it. So cultural level up is a good thing. I kind of want to keep doing propagate then, right? I kind of want to just keep adding people to our village. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I think that's basically all the mechanics that we had to learn. I think we're there. I, I think that answered all my questions I had with the game. We just gotta keep playing. We gotta kill a mammoth. I think, that, I think that's it. 
so very fun game very fun to just explore uh I think very few PlayStation 1 games have this kind of 3D freedom. Um, really, they just tell you to go nuts. Here's our world, go nuts. Um, which is so fun. It's a fun thing to do in any video game. Uh, obviously, it's really funny that happens after Breath of the Wild. But uh, we're into it. I'm, I'm very excited to play more of this. I don't know how long this game can sustain itself. It was fun over the course of two hours things will need to happen in the next stream for it to continue being fun all right we can't just eat and die at a mammoth and then eat and die at a mammoth we need some good progression next week i think um so i believe that will happen i will get there and then eventually we will find the tail of the sun once we get those mammoth bones baby uh very fun so again if you have tale of the sun week one fan art Please send it to at Kyle Bossman. Include your name on the art itself because I just toss them all into one folder, um, and I will make one. Of, I will make one as well. Um, probably if he he, I don't want to spoil it, but yeah, he he's. If we're going to skip to best part, worst part. The best part of this was finding the cave. Was finding the cave for the first time, and then going down into the cave super impressed by the way the camera could follow us in obviously it had some problems but the idea that you know i love caves uh i love caves existing within worlds um in video games one of my like one of my loves and uh the idea that this cave structure exists within the solid environment of tale of the sun i didn't expect it Traveling through that cave was very fun. It was truly a little disappointing finding out the cave is just one path later on, but also reassuring because um, I was intimidated by that cave the first time and then the second time, not at all. Um, that's the best part. Worst part. Um, worst part was killing that hippo and then having a really hard time getting to that meat, uh, just slipping and not being able to do what I wanted to do. The cavemen have a really hard time. Cave people have a really hard time uh, with hills. I don't. They're they're not very good at hills, and so that was the only bad part. It's not a bad bad part, you know. I I had a really good time with this game tonight. <laughs> it's funny that they put a little period after info. Uh, just so you know for sure that info is short for information. <laughs> it's good to know. All right, um, that was a stream for this week. That was Dumb Game Monday. I'm looking forward to putting more time into Tale of the Sun, for sure. Uh, tomorrow, Brandon Jones will be playing Lego Worlds. You know, that'll be good. There might be a stream afterward. I don't know if that's been announced yet. There will be a stream afterward from someone. There's going to be a gap. That stream starts, I think, at 3. Is that on the schedule? Let me just check. I, I hate having to dance around these things. Let me just check. It's not on the schedule. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. So look out for a surprise stream from someone tomorrow before our 6 p.m. group stream, which is a tournament, an uh, intramural tournament. We are playing... A game that was created for Easy Allies as a gift. A fighting game. Uh, in which every single member of Easy Allies has a fighting game character inside of this game. There was no way we could not play it for a group stream night uh, tournament. Just arrived at the perfect time. No way, we're not doing it. Uh, so what the patrons of patreon.com slash easy allies are voting on are the rules. Um... We're voting on the rules of <laughs> whether everybody gets to pick their own character or, or uh, everybody gets to have a draft and say, you know what, I want to be Jones or I want to be Ian, you know, in order, picking which character they want to pick or completely random. Just, oh, I got Damiani, cool. Uh, so far it is extremely close, the vote between uh, everybody being themselves and having a draft. Very extremely. It's one person off right now. And so that'll get locked in, I think, tomorrow at 10 a.m. So we'll find out uh, what we're doing. Uh, 6 p.m. in the Pacific time zone. A really good thing to do is to go to easyallies.com. 
Um, if you go to easyeyes.com and check out the right column, you will see our schedule in your own time zone, which is pretty cool. Um, just look at the right column. I'm doing it right now. Yeah, I can't believe that thing is not on the schedule tomorrow. All right, maybe it's not happening. That thing may or may not happen tomorrow. It, I could just be talking about nothing. Okay, anyway, uh, something I want to promote that I'm very excited about is Thursday, 1 p.m. Pacific time to 5 p.m., four hours of building Gundam models with Brad and Ben. That is a fun stream, very casual stream, uh, a laid back stream. Uh, we just sit and build Gundams out of plastic and it's fun for us. We have a lot of conversations and it's weird. It's a weird, uh, it's weird how much support we've had because that is inherently uninteresting. That is, should be a boring thing to watch people do, but, uh, we get a lot of support for it. People show up and have a good time. A lot of people are getting into building Gundams because of that weird stream and it's a fun thing. It's, it's, I have a great time doing stuff like that, and uh, it's weird. It's a, it's a thing that would make no sense to do four years ago. I'm sorry, what What do you do? You don't edit those down into, like, three-minute clips? No, we just sit and build Gundams for four hours. I don't want to... I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. It's good. Okay. Oh, that's an itchy nose. All right, everybody. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, check out... As I just said, easyallies.com to see our schedule and all the videos that we do. Check out patreon.com slash easyallies to see how you might support us um, and what, how we can support you. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Dumb Game Monday will continue next Monday for sure. And uh, that's Tale of the Sun. Here, bring on week two. I'm going to mute myself and give you a little more Mega Man library music. Let me just make sure everything's ready to go. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Take you all the way back there. Yep, okay. All right, I'm good to go. All right, everybody. What are your E3 plans? Definitely not solid yet. Uh, E3 plans have not begun. <laughs> they will, later on this month, maybe, we'll get to there. Uh, I think there's been a lot of planning going into um, uh, the one-year anniversary stuff. Oh, hey. Thursday next week is our live stream one year strong mega stream. We're going to stream for a lot on that day. We're still working out the actual hours, whether it's going to be 12 or not or whatever. We'll have a mega stream next Thursday and look out for that. Send us uh, recommendations of what you'd like to see us stream. We are definitely setting up some unusual things to stream. Uh, Damiani has some cool ideas. And so, yeah, it's going to be a cool stream. Celebrate one year of existence. And so look out for that right here on twitch.tv slash easy allies. See you there. All right, everybody. I'm going to mute my microphone. I'm going to say goodbye. Goodbye.